Hey guys, Avery here, and today we are going to be doing another episode of our My League franchise um, with the Anchorage Lumberjacks. Um, as you can see, Michael Beasley is going to be starting for us after his superstar performance last episode. Um, we are going to be taking on the Nashville Stars. Um, they will have Kimball Walker, Langston Galloway, Justin Jackson, Vince Hunter, and Me Too. Uh, we have Morant, Thompson, Muhammad, Beasley, and Adams starting for us, so we're going to head to Go ahead and jump right into this one. So Jay Morant, as you can see, is averaging 21 points and 8 assists. Um, he is definitely in the running for the Rookie of the Year. And then they have Kimba Walker, who is averaging almost 26 points a game. Alright, so we are getting ready to tip this one off here, guys. Um, hopefully we can get an another win as we are going against the stars uh, the first time we faced off against them I tried to record it for you guys and it ended up losing all the data uh, but we were absolutely demolished in that game so hopefully we can seems like our team's more set now we know who and what our team is and what they can do um, so we're gonna see if we can't go ahead and get a win here as Justin Jackson drives it and throws it in um, I have been playing a lot of Madden so I'm trying to get used to the controllers again um, and then Steven Adams gets a wide open shot. How do you miss a jumper like that, man? Like you're 80 overall. You should miss, you should be missing jumpers like that. As he's able to slam it home. So real quick, um, four points for Nashville. It's Jay Morant. We're gonna need a big game from him. He's gonna go up. He lays it up, but he's gonna miss it. So Langston Galloway is gonna bring it down. He's gonna get the wide open shot, and he's gonna miss it as well. So a lot of real fast pace going on here. Clay Thompson gets it. He's going to shoot it. The jumper's not going to fall. So those mid-range jumpers seem to keep not falling for us in this game. Um, we might have to adapt our playing style as Beasley is able to knock it away there. And Jay Morant's going to take this one up and draw the foul. And it's going to be an and one, guys. So Jay Morant, our rookie, is definitely in the rookie of the year running with Zion Williamson. Um, we're going to try and get him that rookie of the year award but we are also are trying to you know build our team as well so I know we have quite a few draft picks um, we're definitely wanting to get you know one of the more top top tier draft picks I should say um, I don't think like a top three but you know especially like a top ten or top five I think if we can um, end up getting one of those we'll find a good pretty good player to add on to this team um, we have a couple weak positions the small forward position is a more weaker position of ours. And then also the power forward because I just don't know how long Michael Beasley is going to last as Steven Adams misses both those free throws. Um, so Anchorage Lumberjacks a little rusty today, um, but we're going to try and get back into this game. And much like the last game, I think I'm going to try and cut it down for you guys uh, where I will be doing um, the first quarter, simulating ahead to the fourth, and then playing again. And he's going to score there. I think the one player that we really need to watch out for this time was going to have to be Kimba Walker. He is definitely their main scorer. And the threes just is not falling for us. Um, as Shabazz Muhammad seems to be a little cold there. And they get an offensive rebound and put it back in. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout. This, this isn't working right. We need to regroup, guys. So we are going to bring out Doug McDermott. We traded for him. We actually had him on our team at one point. Then we traded him away. Then we traded back for him. Um, so he's going to come out. He's going to try and provide us with a little bit more better three-point shooting. Um, that's kind of why I picked him up. As Clay Thompson drives that one there, and he's going to score. It's 8-5. to five. Um, Jay and Clay have been the, the tag team duo that has led Anchorage to their pretty much a you know 500 start. Um, it's a lot better than what I thought we were going to be doing. Steven Adams gets another block and another. Can it be Block City down here? Um, he's gotten two so far, but they're going to get the offensive rebound and put it back in. So 10-5. Looks like we're going to have to be coming from behind in this game. Is I'm going to dump it off to of Steven Adams down low. So hopefully you guys are liking this series. Um, I know that I've put out quite a bit of content. I think six episodes so far. Um, and, and I've gotten some pretty good feedback so far, so I am going to continue to do that. As NBA 2K20 draws near, um, I do have pre-order for that as well. I'm going to be doing a Madden 20 series. 
um, quite a few Madden 20 series, and then I'm also going to be doing quite a few um, NBA 2K20 series as well. As Beasley's trying to get that one, but Morant gets the offensive rebound, but can't get it back in. So pretty good offensive rebound right there from Morant, our rookie, um, but he just could not finish. And he's going to slam it home as Beasley seems to be slacking off. Um, especially from his big last game. I think he had like almost 30 points last game. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure he had almost 30 points as Clay Thompson knocks that one down. No, that's Doug McDermott. Our new pickup, Doug McDermott, knocks that three-pointer down in the corner. Um, so definitely a good pickup right there. He could be somebody that we look to go ahead and start if Shabazz Muhammad continues to struggle. But Doug McDermott from Creighton, he was one of those players like Steph Curry um, that kind of swept the nation. And then Thompson here is going to go to the line. Um, it's kind of confusing me now. I have two um, Thompson and McDermott look like a lot alike. And we missed both free throws. So our free throws are very they're horrendous this episode, guys. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. It's been a while. And he's going to go and score the end one. Um, Kimball Walker getting free right there. Um, we knew that he was going to be the person that we were going to have to watch out for. Um, but so far, not so bad here in the first quarter as we still have seven minutes and we are only down by seven. Uh, we just need to tighten up our defense a little bit and make sure that we are trying to get the easy baskets and not taking so many threes as Clay Thompson is going to score right there as well. Um, and then, of course, we need to start knocking down some three free throws. If we can do that, um, I think we can come back and win. Um, it's not as big as a blowout as it was in the first game. I wish you all would have seen that because, I mean, they completely decimated us. Um, and then, oh, I, oh, we get the rebound. He isn't able to score. I thought I was going to give up the easy points there. Um, Beasley's, can McDermott hit it? And he does. McDermott with the second three-pointer um, trading for him his first game in, and he's already hit two of two from the three-point line and um, got to be super excited by that we didn't really have a lot of three-point shooters on our roster uh, we had a lot of slashers a lot of defenders and we that's why we went out and got McDermott and it seems like it has paid off for us um, and he's gonna get the rebound Adams is gonna grab it gonna try and push the transition a little bit as Beasley gets it and he's gonna score um, so the transition definitely getting pushed there as we are already tying it up. We were down 17-10. to 10. We are on a 7-0 run, and Kimba Walker only has three points. So we are, well, make that five points. So we are keeping him contained um, for the most part. And as long as we can do that, I'm going to give McDermott another shot. And I thought he was going to hit it, but that was a horrendous shot. It ends up bouncing up and out as I think Prethorus is going to come in for Beasley. you got to give it to the hot hands. You know, he was 2 of 2. I had to give him another shot. He was, he was wide open there in the corner. Um, so, And then McAdams gets another block. Seems like he's, you know, one of our block shots. And he turns around in midair and throws that up before he even hits the ground. Um, I'm not quite sure who that was, but he... Is a straight baller right there. So Morant hitting the the layup right there. Sorry, whoa. I almost said dunk, and I was like, no, that ain't a dunk. So he hits the layup. Um, he's able to put it back up or be able to put it in. And then Kimba Walker gets wide open and hits the three. I knew that was going to happen. We're going to call the timeout before it starts getting a little out of our hands. So as you can see, McDermott is still out there. Uh, we did sign Seth Curry. Um, so we were, you know, picked him up in free agency. I'm really excited about what he can offer our team. We do have to see Golden State a couple times a year. And I thought, why not add Stephon Curry's brother? Um, it might give it a little bit more anticipation to that matchup. And um, maybe he can add a couple, you know, a couple more points than what Isaiah Thomas was adding for us. I think he was only giving us like seven points a game, and um, I want a little bit more out of our backup point guard, um, especially with Jay Morant being a rookie. As 
Harrison hits it there. He's been a real good surprise this year. Um, I think he's like averaging like 12 or 10 or 12 points. Uh, but anytime you can get a 69 overall guy to give you 10 or 12 points, um, I'm going to take it. And he's also fills in as the backup point guard, um, which has worked really well as, as well. And Steph Curry's going to hit it just like his brother. The big pick and pop right there as he hits the three. Um, his first points of the Anchorage Lumberjacks time. And he knocks down a three just like Doug McDermott did. Um, so the newcomers are hitting the threes today. Hopefully they can power us to a victory as Harrison is trying to guard here. Um, Frank Jackson's take driving in. And then Tyson Chandler, our veteran, is going to grab the rebound there. Um, I really like Tyson Chandler being a backup veteran for us. And McDermott tries another three uh, but could not knock it down as he got the shock fake to go. Tyson Chandler with a block. Curry's going to get it back. McDermott is going to go for the... But he's going to pass it off to Prethorus there on the fast break. So, so far so good out of Curry. So far so good out of McDermott. Uh, McDermott's fit, shooting 50%. Um, we did have a couple wild shots there um, that I was just trying to give him a little bit more of a look. Curry's going to grab this ball. Oh, wide open Prethorus, but I couldn't give it to him. And he's going to knock that one down from three. That is Harrison. As you can see, our crowd is just eerily quiet. They're all sitting there just watching. Um, we just, we docked down three, you know, three big threes, and they're just sitting there watching, not doing anything, not setting up, not hollering. Um, I guess that's what you get here in Alaska. Um, these guys, I don't know if they're excited about it or what, um, but... The Anchorage Lumberjacks are very excited about these newcomers and the way that they are able to um, provide us with a little bit more, you know, three-point shooting. We were kind of lacking in that area. Prethorus is going to miss that one, and then he's going to foul right there. Um, just a silly play, silly foul. So again, I am going to fast forward it. We are going to jump back in in the fourth quarter. Uh, that seems to work really well. I don't want to drag these games out for you guys. I know my first couple episodes were like 50 minutes, and I have been trying to work on a way to um, not like really dumb them down, but like, you know, make them a little bit shorter for you guys as Tyson Chandler is going to score there. Uh, because who has the time anymore to really sit there for 50 minutes and watch um, me play basketball? Um, so I'm trying to make it down to about 20 to 30 minutes per episode. Hopefully you guys will like that and enjoy that a little bit more. Um, I am trying to work on getting a couple thumbnails um, set up as well. Some better looking thumbnails, especially with the newer games coming out that we're going to be doing. Um, I don't want to keep putting out generic thumbnails for you guys. I want to do a more stylistic uh, thumbnail. And um, also maybe, maybe an intro video and some outros. I don't know. I haven't really got to work on it very much. I, I don't have my computer on me right now, um, or I would, I've already done this stuff. So um, that is our plan. That is what we're looking to do um, here at Nipflet Gaming. Um, just trying to make it a little bit more enjoyable for everybody that's watching. Um, again, we are a sports channel, or at least my part of it is a sports channel. Um, I will be looking at maybe possibly doing a couple more games later on down the road. I'm not sure which ones yet though. Um, as they are going to score there on the fast break. Um, I know y'all can leave in the comment section below if there's any games that y'all would like me to play. Um, I haven't played a baseball game in like oh man um, since like 02. <laughs> like, I mean it's like PlayStation 2 time as Eric Paschal gets it there. And Harrison is back there to cherry pick it. Um, so good steal from Paschal out of Villanova. I really like him. I think he's going to stay on our team for quite some time. And I'm going to continue to develop him. Shamari Pons is out there. We pulled him up from the G League. There was an injury. Um, and then we didn't have the you know, the weight at point guard until we signed to Curry. But um, Pons most likely will be going back down into the G League. Um, he's one that we're just trying to develop. 
But while he's here, he's going to get to play today. And that's going to do it with the first quarter. Uh, so 39 to 35, um, not a bad quarter for us. We're going to simulate ahead, and then we're going to jump into it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump ahead, guys. Um, oh, yeah, i got to wait until we're actually on the court. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump ahead. Um, we are going to do the semicast. Um, let's go ahead and continue simulation. Hopefully they don't kill us too badly, and we can get back into this in the fourth quarter. Um, so right now, we are ahead. I'm going to jump back in. Let's see if we can keep this lead. Uh, 101 to 87 so definitely looking up for us here in Anchorage oh and the still happens so maybe we um, hopefully we won't give this game away uh, but I do want to see if we can keep the lead here we are at home it is a big game against one of our expansion team or the other expansion team so um, and then Clay Thompson scores right there um, it looks like he's still in single digits um, so hopefully we can get him a little bit more points here. And then, of course, like always, we will check out the stats before we end this episode. Um, and then we'll kind of figure out which game we're going to be playing next. I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked ahead on the schedule. I just Oh, Steven Adams with a beautiful putback right there. It looked like he was about to slam that home, and then he just finger-rolled it in just so ever so lightly. Um and then there's a wide open score under the basket for the Nashville Stars. Um, they are doing better at assist in this game. Michael Beasley had it, but he lost it. That was a wide open look for Michael Beasley. I'm surprised that he let that one go. Steven Adams with another block. So maybe Steven Adams is our player of the game. I mean, he, what? Yes, yeah, six blocks now. Six blocks. I mean, that is like insane. Um, and then Jay Morant's going to go in and score there. It looks like he just got to 11 points. Um, so not really having the big game that he's used to. But going against Kemba Walker, um, that's really hard to do. I mean, it is Kemba Walker. He is one of the better players in the league um, when it comes to the point guard position. And then Eric Paschal is going to go up and score here. Um, and I was really just saying that ahead of time. I really hope that he scored and didn't make me look like a fool. Um, but he does. It looks like he's got, does that say 14 points? I'm um, sorry, so backup small forward has 14 points. And then our stars only have, you know, single digits. Um, so, and then Jay's going to get the foul there. As we send Kimba to the line, he only has 16 points today. We're doing a really good job of keeping him um, down. All right, so they score right there. It is 109-93. to 93. We do have a 16-point lead. Um, we're just trying to keep and maintain it and give you all a little bit more um, show of the game, a little bit more of the action. As Jay Morant goes in, in wildly, he's going in reckless. He throws it up, and he scores 13 points for him in 24 minutes. Um, not having the greatest game today, but he's able to still score the points. I'm keeping Steven Adams here. I mean, we're looking to, to block some more shots here. I mean, he's turned it into Block City here in Anchorage. And there's another block shot. I told you guys, we were we were calling it right there as Clay Thompson gets this fast break, and he's going to slam it home. Um, let's watch the replay there as Shabazz Muhammad throws that one forward for him. I think I want to see a little bit more out of Doug McDermott before this game ends. Um, so we will be bringing him in as well to replace Muhammad. Muhammad just hasn't had the greatest game. Kemba Walker using that pick and roll pretty nicely as he's able to get wide open there. Shabazz Muhammad trying to do something, but really getting shut down there. Clay Thompson driving. 
He's the one that we want the ball in the hands, and he's going to make the difficult shot. He has 13 points now. And the wide open look, but it's not going to happen. We get the rebound. Beasley, I'm just so... There we go. He's going to slam it home. He has 10 points now. I was about to say, Beasley, I'm just so disappointed in you. Um, only having 10 points in this game, but um, with that superstar game that we had the last one, I can see that he kind of needed a break. He is an older player. He has had his time here in the NBA. Going for the foul, but we get the end one instead. Or going for the foul. That's exactly what we ended up doing. We were going for the block there, guys, but it just didn't happen. Can he complete the three, uh, the end one? And he does. So, again, we're still up. I think we're up 21 points now. Um, there is no way we're going to lose this game. I'm pretty much just st putting in stats for these players, trying to get um, Jay Morant his rookie of the year game. Some A game like this would definitely hurt his chances as Justin Jackson is going to try and put it in there. We're going to call a timeout to get a couple other players in now, guys. And Jay Morant is the player of the game with 13 points. I don't know why he would be the player of the game. Um, I mean, he, he does have quite a few assists. I just don't see it, though. I think you have to kind of give it to a player like Eric Paschal, especially after he was playing so well earlier. Clay Thompson's free throws are one of the hardest free throws to get down. As he goes one of one there. Or one of two, sorry. Jay Morant guarding the Kimba. He's going to throw it. Um, they're just trying to get anything going right now. They're just having a really hard time with our defense today. Steven Adams has played really well with all the blocks that he's had. He would be another uh, contender for my player of the game. Um, but he doesn't have the points to match that. We haven't been able to get it down low to him very much. Jay Morant going and driving and looking like a superstar there as he lays it in. So maybe Jay Morant is starting to pick up a little bit of steam as far as player of the game goes. And a wide open Kimba. But he misses it. He misses it right there. Um, McDermott wide open. Why not? But he misses it as well. Um, so two back-to-back -back misses. And then Morant's going to allow the score there. So up 20 points still. We're really just kind of having fun here in this game. We haven't had a lot of games like that where we've just really kind of demolished the team um, or been able to jump back in with the team pretty much well ahead. Um, Steven Adams with six points. See if we can't work on some of his. But we get it taken away. Um, and Morant goes and steals it right back. So... Adams is going to be able to lay that one in. Um, he's up to eight points now. We're going to see if we can't get him the double-double. I know that he has quite a few rebounds. And then they're going to call the timeout. So not a lot going, going to happen here in this game unless something just really drastically happens. The Nashville Stars need a miracle. I'm going to leave some of our starters out there, make sure that they can get some of their points and just mainly see what else they can do. Um, I don't want to bring in a lot of the backups yet. I will bring them in here in a second. But it looks like Clay Thompson's getting a little bit more tired, so he might have to be taken out here soon. And then maybe a guy like Shamari Pons might be brought in, especially with the way Jay Morant's been playing. Um, he's gotten his points pretty much. Adams is going to get another rebound. That's 11 for him now. Um, Clay Thompson taking the wide open shot. He's going to knock that down. As he has 16 points now of 7 of 15. So Jay and Clay doing re pretty well respectively um, here in this game. Kimba Walker, um, we've been able to kind of keep him contained. Last episode that we were playing them, I think he scored like 30 something points.
right, so we are back. It is 124 to 104. Um, we have almost all of our backups in now. Curry is going to be out there. Shamari Pons is going to be out there. Bol Bol is out there. Paschal's out there. And I believe there is going to be it. I think Michael Beasley came out as well. I tried to keep Prethros in, but I think Beasley came. Um, so there you guys go. Really want to see what Shamari Pons has, um, but he will most likely be back in the G League. Um, you know Bol Bol. He's been one of our favorite uh, rookies so far as he's played pretty well as Beasley is going to take that one in and score and draw the foul and he's going to miss the free throw so we need to get our free throws in check guys um, I think that's been the biggest thing all game it's really the only negative all game we've really played really well um, so definitely need to get our free throws in check here um, I really like the additions of Doug McDermott and Seth Curry I think it makes our team a little bit more of a complete team as Curry's going to drive and score right there as well. We also looked at guys like Quinn Cook. I thought about bringing him in as well. Um, but with the whole tie to Stephon Curry and seeing the Golden State Warriors being on the, the West Coast, I thought Seth Curry, having him on our team, would be... Um, pretty interesting to see him go off against Steph Curry or Stephon Curry. Bull Bull's going to the line. And he's going to miss it. <laughs> Again, our free throw woes continue. And he's going to hit that, that one. So th he's able to get one of two. That's been about all game long. Um, so we need to work on our free throws as a team. And maybe get them back in line. Bull Bull getting the block there. So getting pretty good at getting some blocks. We have a lot of blocks or uh, shot blockers on our team. Let's see what he can do as he drives in. He's going to draw the foul off CJ Miles. He's going to the line, and he has 18 points in this game. He's four or five from the three-point range. Um, so somebody that is, uh, you know. We bring in Doug McDermott for the three-pointers, and then we already have somebody here on the roster um, that seems to be playing well over their grade. Uh, I believe we got him in the top of the second round. Um, so definitely somebody that we are going to look to develop as he continues to develop as a player. Um, ball ball with another shot block. Um, he's just, you know, he's great when it comes to things like that. Curry is going to go up, throw up that last shot. It's rimming out, but we win 134 to 110. Let me know what you all think in the comment section below about some of our newer players. Uh, let me know what you all think about some of our players that were on the bench that scored really well. Um, so we do end up beating the Nashville Stars. Um, our, one of our first meetings that were able to be recorded, we win uh, pretty big by 24 points. Let's go ahead and check out the stats, guys. Um, as Eric Paschal was the leader scorer, with along as Seth Curry, they both scored 19. Um, I have to give the player of the game to Eric Paschal. He was 4 or 5 from the 3-point range. Seth Curry is 5 or 7 from the 3-point range. So really a lot of good play um, from our free agent signing, uh, but also from our rookie because our rookie only had 13 minutes. Seth Curry only had 14. So... If they can provide 19 minutes in those small amount of minutes, I think they're going to be pretty good for our team. Clay Thompson with 16, 8, and 4. Um, and then we have Jay Morant with 5 and 9 on assist. Beasley only scored 12 this game, so not too terrible, but he was able to at least give us a 12 points. McDermott off the trade comes in and drops 12. He went 50% from pretty much the field. Um, so from field goal range and three-point range, he was 50%. Harrison gives us 11, Adams gives us 8 and 11, and he had 7 blocks, guys. So a defensive stopper for us that kind of helped turn the tide of the game. And then Shamari Pons had 7, Shabazz has 6, Tyson Chandler has 4, and Bobo has 3, and then Prethorus has 2 and 5. Um, so that's going to do it for us, guys. Alright, so we have a couple games coming up here. Um, as it looks like the trade deadline is looming here within the next couple weeks. 
Um, so we might be looking to go ahead and simulate through a couple of these. Um, I'm not quite sure which team we'll be looking at. Uh, we could go against Zion. I know he went to the Suns in our franchise. I know that's a little bit different. So why not go ahead and get that game set up? Um, it looks like they are way ahead of us. Let's look at some of the scouting guy, um, right now, guys. Let's go and pick some prospects. I know we've been looking at quite a few from the top um, as far as small forward goes. Um, but maybe we need to start looking at a little bit of power forward. Um, we know that we might need him, uh, that position filled pretty early. There's Chad Howard. Um, he's a two-way power forward. Let's look at what he has. It looks like he can be like Terrence Jones or a bench. Um, he looks like he's a good post defender. Not a lot of weaknesses. He has 18 points a game from Mississippi State. He can hit the three, so that's definitely going to you know look well in our favor here. He has good athleticism, uh, B minus potential. Um, so somebody that definitely we're going to look at you know bringing in Sean Stevens. I'm going to look at him as well. Um, just kind of looking at the point guard position as well. Maybe be able to to either bring him in and make him a point guard, or bring him in and then uh, move Jaw to the shooting guard position, and then move Clay Thompson to the small forward position. Um, it will give us a pretty good setup there as well. Um, but looking to see some of these power forwards, I haven't scouted a total a lot of them um, I haven't scouted a lot of them yet but we are looking to see about bringing some of them in maybe bringing in one of the second round guys let's see so Brian Peterson we're gonna bring him in um, as our last guy he's in the second round uh, just kind of taking a flyer on him just to see but he is averaging 20 points a game um, so he is a scoring power forward um, so definitely, you know, he's going to be somebody that's on our list for sure. And there you guys go. Um, I think that's going to do it for us this episode. Um, so definitely uh, join me next time as we look to take on Zion Williamson. Um, he is going to be, you know, one of our biggest challenges, um, especially with Tevin Booker, Aiden, and Zion Williamson both being in the game. Um, it is going to be hard for us to t come away with a victory here, um, but it's going to be a good test for our veterans. It's going to be a good test for our rookies. So if y'all could, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, let me know what y'all thought in the comment section, and we will see you guys next time. You all have a great day.